Welcome to Howie's NCLEX Tidbits. Today we're going to be talking about labor stages, four labor stages of pregnancy for all you NCLEX people out there. One little warning, these slides are for medical professionals only, so you might... There are four stages to pregnancy and delivery, and we'll start with stage one, two, three, and four. Stage one is the longest stage. It's going to be separated into three separate subdivisions. Stage two is when the fetus is expelling, and then stage three for the placenta, and stage four for bonding. Now the first stage is the longest stage because it's, it's further divided into three subdivisions, like I said. You've got your latent, active, and transitioning. And they're all separated depending on how the cervix is dilated, as well as what contractions the mother is feeling. And so the first stage is divided into three separate phases. The first phase, the latent phase, has a dilation of the cervix between one and three. Second stage, active stage, where the woman is more serious. Uh, left cervical dilation is between four and seven. And then the final stage, the dilated cervix. Now the last picture you saw was not a dilated cervix. It was a cervix, but it wasn't dilated. Uh, it wasn't effaced either. So you'll see that there's differences between effacement and dilation, but the second stage will not start until the cervix is completely effaced Boom, and then we're off. You notice that the cervix has been dilated over 10 centimeters, and now we begin. The baby has descended, has passed the certain stages, and now we start to see the baby presenting. Here we go. And now the sweet baby is born. We take him out to the nurse. They check the baby out, do some APGAR scoring, and in the meantime, we start stage three. We will wait for the placenta and the afterbirth to become expelled from the uterus. And now we have the baby, we've inspected it, and we're bringing it back to the mom and dad in order to initiate bonding, which is very important, as soon as possible. However, we're not quite out of the woods yet because we need to make sure the mother is free from a lot of postpartum complications, most severely bleeding. So in summary, we have stage one, which I call waiting, stage two of labor, which is the expulsion of the baby out of the uterus, and stage three, the expulsion of the placenta and the afterbirth out of the uterus, and then stage four, where we do... And that's it! I told you it was just a tidbit. It's very small, fast, and brief. This is uh, Howie, Nurse Howie, subscribe to me if you have any questions or something wrong. Please comment and let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in the next NCLEX Tidbit video. Thanks.